All right, let's get started. So the first uh, video in the series, I'm going to be talking about the Ventolin inhaler. Uh, this is the one. Uh, my camera doesn't zoom in. There we go. So the Ventolin contains salbutamol, which is a bronchodilator. It has a short direction, duration of action. So you wouldn't expect this to work longer than four to six hours. So this is only used usually as a rescue inhaler. So you use it as needed. It doesn't really control your asthma. It doesn't really control your COPD. It doesn't last very long. But it's very helpful to have it in your pocket if you're going out, if you know your asthma is not really well controlled. This can help you in those situations when you do get very tight chested and wheezy. So how do you use it? Many people have a lot of issues with this one. So this being a rescue inhaler, imagine you're having your asthma attack. You really need to know how to use this one. So if forget about the others, this is the main one. So something that looks like this, you probably have all seen if you suffer with asthma or COPD. It's really, really useful. So uh, using it correctly can actually save you from maybe going to hospital, saving your life. So it's one of those critical things. So I would say this is if you are going to learn how to use an inhaler properly, probably this is the one to learn first. Okay, and then your controller medication, that's also important, but we'll get to that in the next videos. So how do you use this thing? So looking at the inhaler, uh, hopefully this zooms in well, but you've got this sort of uh, thing inside. So it's this basically contains the active compound. Uh, it's actual Ventolin, so I'm going to be testing it on myself in this video. Apparently, I don't have a demonstrator device, I just have the real thing. So the rest of the videos will be actual demonstration devices. Uh, and you've got this thing that has a cap, right, that you can remove like this. And the div this thing that contains the medication goes inside. You pop it in and it will sort of... You have to force it in a bit until the thing sprays out. Okay, so when it's like this, it's working. So you can puff it in the air for a bit and you'll see that there's a mist coming out. I hope you saw that. So that means that it's working. Before you use this one, uh, it's recommended that you uh, shake it a bit. So shake it well, right? Shake it well before you do it so that you all that substance inside is well homogeneous and you're getting uh, the right dose, okay? So you do this and this is um, a metered dose inhaler. So it's an MDI. So this does not produce a dust. So this is a, a sort of small droplets coming out, right? So it, it will spray this in your mouth. That makes it quite difficult. So you need to synchronize your breathing in with clicking on it, okay? So that's really essential, synchronizing. And you have to take a deep breath and you have to hold it in. So I'm gonna show you how I use it. Uh, you, you may find it's easier to hold your thumb underneath here and to try to squeeze it together with, with two other fingers on top because it's actually quite, quite hard to, to press, right? Okay, but this works well. You can, some people do it like this with their fist. That's fine as well. As long as you're pushing hard enough to get it out, right? Okay, so, but it's important to practice before you actually get an asthma attack, okay? So that you know what to do. Now, with this thing, the principle is that you need to take your, all the air out of your lungs breathe out and then as you're breathing in you're clicking on this and inhaling slowly until you can't breathe in anymore and you hold your breath they say for 10 seconds just try your best to hold it as much as you can so it will look something like this i'm going to try to demonstrate this so i shake it well don't forget this take the air out of my lungs and slowly release. So what did I do there? Uh, so again, to explain, I took the air out of my lungs and as I was starting to inhale, I put this in my mouth and I 
sucked it slowly and deeply until I couldn't take any more air in. Right? So that's basically the principle. And I hold my breath at the end. So I'll do it again. Okay? Hopefully this doesn't make me lightheaded or anything. So shake. Take the air out. And exhale slowly okay so this is one of those things generally if an inhaler looks like this you probably need to inhale it slowly and deeply okay the powdered ones you probably need to be more forceful but this is how you use it okay things not to do uh, okay because this is very important so this is actually quite you will see if you've watched dr house you might have seen people doing this with their inhaler like using it as a buffer right don't do that right don't do this that's not going into your lungs okay don't blow in it that's wrong as well okay so really all you have to do is take the air out as you're breathing in click on this and try to catch that mist coming out and deeply inhale it into your lungs slowly and deeply okay this is how to use it. Make sure you keep this clean, okay? Don't keep, if you're keeping it in your pocket, wash it regularly so that you're not inhaling any germs or anything. And this is how you use it. Hope this helps. If you like this video, do subscribe. There's more coming. Okay, all the best.